On the right, we have the Evernew Titanium DX stand and burner. And on the left is the Trail Designs Titri Sidewinder with Starlight Stove. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and light these up. The Starlight Stove uh, is all ready to go, right, immediate upon lighting. The DX stand takes about 10 to 15 seconds for it to bloom, and then it'll be ready to go, which is still pretty fast. So we get a nice blue flame on the Titri system there with the pot and stand combo. It's one sheet of titanium there. This is the Evernew. You can see it gets red hot there. It's got a turbo plate. It's designed to um, make all the heat even. So we're gonna put the pot on the Titri stand. And there you can see it's red hot. I'm using the MSR kettle there. And let's go ahead and start timing to see what we get for boil time. And we can see there the flames are going really nice and strong on the DX fan. Watch how small of a pot you use. That's an MSR Titan kettle, four inch diameter. And the flame's actually going really nice inside the caldera cone there, or I'm sorry, the, the titri cone. So here we are, we're at two minutes and 45 seconds, I think. Yep, and uh, we're coming up on three minutes and we have a nice simmer beginning. So this stove is just pumping out tons of heat. Meanwhile, over on the Titri, we've got just a few bubbles, but pretty much nothing's going on. Now here's the problem with the DX stand is, it pumps out a lot of heat, it burns a lot of fuel, and there's no flame. Now, I did almost have a full rolling boil, and over here on the Titri system, we're just starting to get some bubbles at the bottom. So I'm going to continue to let this go, and we'll uh, see what time we get for a boil on the Titri system. Here we are at nine minutes. I got a full roll of boil. It's actually a little bit longer of a time it takes to boil. It's my primary... Um, kit I use backpacking and I can usually get a boil in six and a half to seven minutes. So I'm going to take the pot off and we're just going to let the flame go and I'm going to show you how efficient this stove is and how long um, it's going to continue to uh, create a flame. So on both of these systems, I used two cups of water from the tap, and I used one measured ounce of liquid heat. So you can see the flame's going really strong. The nice thing about the Titri system is it's designed for fuel efficiency. And um, as you can see here, we're at 16 and a half minutes, I got a nice flame. So theoretically, you can boil two cups of water twice. So you could do two full meals, you could boil water for one meal and then put water back on for a cup of coffee, any type of uh, system you'd wanna have. The downfall to this is you have to use the same pot because the windscreen and stand are designed, uh, or it's one piece. So it's designed for that specific pot. So if you're like me and you have a bunch of different pots, you can't really interchange them and do anything like that. Now the advantage to the Evernew DX stand is if you wanna boil water really fast, that's what you wanna use uh, with regards to alcohol. The thing is, is it really burns up a lot of fuel. So it's not the most fuel efficient. So if you're looking for something where you can boil 
uh, water for a long amount of time or a lot of water at once, uh, the Titri system is definitely the better system. If you want something where you can just put an ounce of fuel in, light it up, get a really hot flame and get some water going in four to five minutes, the DX stand is your best. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just snuff this flame out at 18 minutes. I, I think I pretty much showed the efficiency. It probably has another minute or two of flame left. And uh, I'm gonna do this boil test again. I think we'll do a part two. So I appreciate you watching and uh, stay tuned for part two and we'll see what happens.